Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh children how are you today i hope and i pray that you would be in the best state of health and iman inshallah and you would have kept the fasts of ramadan with much enthusiasm and interest you would be excited and all eager to gain the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah you would have seen the entire series about how to gain the recognition of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and done a lot of good deeds during ramadan dear kids all the good deeds you did during ramadan you will get its reward in this world as well as the in the hereafter inshallah and you know what in this world how will you get it right now yes in the shape of eid ul fitr Dear kids you know that Quran was revealed in the holy month of Ramadan isn't it therefore we show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa taala we show how thankful we are for this huge blessing by fasting in the month of Ramadan by fasting for the entire month doing various good deeds and busying ourselves in the worship of allah subhanahu wa taala we spend the month and at the end of this month we celebrate and that why do we celebrate we celebrate that allah subhanahu wa taala gave this amazing divine quran to us we celebrate that allah subhanahu wa taala considered us worthy of guidance and gave us a book to live our lives according to so dear kids let's make two promises today the first being that in our lives we will give importance to quran we will never forget or ignore quran we will give its due by reading it with tajweed by understanding it and reflecting on it by giving it a lot of importance in our lives the second promise will be that we will spend eid ul fitr according to the commands of allah subhanahu wa taala according to how and what allah subhanahu wa taala has told us to do you know what children this eid is a gift from allah subhanahu wa taala to us so we need to be thankful for it show our gratitude we should not forget the rab who gave us this great day we need to be his grateful servants you must be thinking now how will we do it isn't it let me tell you dear children that how will we do this we find it from a hadith of the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam that eid is a day to eat drink be merry and remember allah subhanahu wa taala so i hope you now do understand that it is important to remember allah subhanahu wa taala on the day of eid So now let me tell you that how we can do this how we can be grateful servants of Allah subhanahu wa taala So dear kids to thank Allah subhanahu wa taala to exalt and remember Allah subhanahu wa taala we should adopt a particular method the method Allah subhanahu wa taala told us about we need to do that only the method our holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam adopted and established in his life as you know prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam lived all the commands of allah subhanahu wa taala so we could learn from them and see that doing all this is not difficult at all the first being that our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would begin the day of eid by taking a bath early in the morning he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would shower and get clean therefore we too should get up and take a shower first thing in the morning on eid inshallah The second thing he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would do is use a miswak wear nice and clean clothes and apply perfume Following in the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam we too should use miswak put on perfume and wear nice clothes If you have new clothes then wear them but in case if you do not have new clothes it does not matter what matters is that they should be clean and tidy 
the third thing muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would do is that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam would look after the needy the orphans and the poor he sallallahu alaihi wasallam would give them in charity give them food give them supplies and give them whatever else they would be needing i hope dear kids that during the blessed month of ramadan the grown ups in your house would have bought supplies clothes and other gifts for the hired help in your house not only the people working in your house should be given supplies for ramadan and clothes for eid but other poor and needy people deserve our help we need to be considerate and compassionate about them now before we sight before we see the moon of shawwal we should give the fitrana as well whatever your menu for eid is going to be try to give the same to the people who work for you let me explain this to you because it is important for example you decide that on eid you will have biryani then what you can do is give the ingredients for the biryani and charity so someone else might also enjoy the delights you wish to have we all make savaiya for eid vermicelli is right then we can give the sugar milk vermicelli packets dry fruits to the needy so they too can enjoy this tradition of eating sweet first thing in the morning if doing all this goes beyond the budget then what you can do is that feed at least one person from the food you decide to eat yourself remember kids sharing is caring The number 4th thing that our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would do is that he would make an effort to see the moon on chand raat and upon seeing the moon he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would recite a certain dua you know what dua is that do not worry kids i will teach you inshallah so we too can act upon this beautiful sunnah and gain numerous rewards inshallah allahumma hillahu alaina bil yumni wal iman والسلامة والإسلام ربي وربك الله. The translation is, O oh Allah, bring us the new moon with security and faith. O oh moon, my Creator and your Creator is the same. Before we move on, children, do remember to recite and learn this dua and teach it to others as well. Inshallah. So the sixth thing to do is that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would leave the house after eating something sweet. maybe ajwa dates in an odd number like 1 2 or 3 therefore we too should try to adopt this sunnah dear children another thing he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would do is that he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would recite the takbirat while going to say his eid prayers with the sahaba the takbirat are Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar la ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar walillahi alhamd Translation is Allah is the greatest Allah is the greatest there is no god but Allah and Allah is the greatest Allah is the greatest and all praises belong to him alone The seventh thing to do is that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would walk to the Eidgah. He would take a different route to the place and change the route on his way back. So go a certain path and come back another. So dear kids, if possible, then you too should try to walk to the mosque, okay? And take a different route back to the house, inshallah. The eighth thing that he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would do is that he would say two rak'ah nafl salah which is called as the Eid prayer. There are no nafl prayers before or after the Eid salah. Dear kids, please do listen to the sermon, the khutbah before the Eid prayers. Listening to this is a sunnah. After the salah, he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam would greet everyone, say salam to them and give them the dua that تقبل الله منا ومنكم may allah subhanahu wa taala accept it from you and us dear kids you too should learn this small dua so following on the sunnah you too can greet others with the same inshallah dear kids do not forget the poor and the needy on this day make sure you meet your relatives friends and the needy as well give them gifts eid greet them with a smile and a hug help them and be there for them make them feel they are part of the muslim brotherhood inshallah 
and dear kids do not forget to pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you forgiveness goodness and rightness as inshallah the most important way of making eid memorable is to spend it together as a family remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reviving the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam by celebrating eid we are following in the way of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his righteous followers celebrating eid ul fitr is also one way we can nurture our muslim identity while strengthening family and community ties it was the prophetic practice to celebrate eid so for this reason it is worthwhile to make the eid celebration something memorable I end today's talk with a prayer that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all and enable us all to spend this Eid in the most preferred, in the most masnoon manner, according to the Quran and Sunnah. Ameen. Lots and lots of prayers for you children. Look after yourselves and your families and remember to spend Eid in the prescribed manner, inshallah. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.